Blaskowitz. Head for the old American bank building. That's where Horton and his group should be holed up. Find them. Persuade them to join our cause. The American bank. What's a dollar worth these days? Shortcut through this building.
I got powered up that overhead crane. Moving on from the tower now. Mines are disabled. And Fergus is scouting ahead. <sighs> Just had a big fight with the Nazis. Barely made it. William? Don't know if this is normal, but I think the pregnancy is making me a little, uh, <laughs> you know, excited. <coughs> oh, God, is everyone listening in on this frequency? Yes. Yes. Thanks, horse. Like I got a blast on my way out.
like someone is putting up a fight. Son, take my hand. You a preacher? No, this Lord, Lord, pick these rags up off the streets. Name's Horton. William J. Blaskowitz. Blaskowitz, terror belly hellfire, son. Ain't you supposed to be dead? I recovered. Well, terror belly don't mean to be rude, but what's your business around these parts, apart from saving our sorry asses? I'm with the Chrysal Circle. We're starting a revolution. Are you now? This here is the last remaining haven for the cancerous growth of independent free thinkers. Spreading all over the south and yonder. Oh, we be the outcasts, the poor. Well, everyone who ain't part of the American goddamn bourgeois. That man right there, getting yourself a drink? That's my old time friend, Paris Jack. Paris Jack is a wrong cutter, a true believing anarchist. A hell of a clair on that player, ain't that right, Paris? Don't like to toot my own horn, except literally. Streets are quiet, Horton. Nobody's. Wait. Yes, streets are quiet. Now that's the professor. She got them eyes, can see a speck of dirt in a cow's ass off a hundred yards. I tell you, them goddamn nasty son bitches coming here, we gonna shoot their asses out. I tell you what, going hot in a blaze of glory, hallelujah! You got a lot of good people here. You should join us. We could always use more good people. How you reckon to start this revolution of yours, Terror Billy? Terror Billy? Holy shit, it's him. Didn't that Nazi bitch kill you? Seems our friend here kind of told St. Pete to go fuck himself. He's with the Crossout Circle, walking lit. I know who he is. Oh, damn it. Here they come. Paris, I'm feeling a little jittery. Do you mind taking the edge off? Let me see what I can do about that. You know, my mom always said... <laughs> Never trust a man can't handle his whiskey. So you sit right down, sit there, Billy, and drink up. What in the world the fuck is this shit? Old Horton Speck. <laughs> oh, goddamn. Now listen, Terry Billy, I respect your ambition. But there's nothing can be done no more. Uh, the world has sank into the crapper, and all we can do now is drink this whiskey and watch the vortex suck it all down. 
Didn't expect your belly to be quite so yellow. We've been fighting for a revolution since long before them Nazis came here. We were the first to start build a civil rights movement to advocate equality for everyone. You know the concept of civil rights, Terry Belly? No, you don't. You're just a jarhead, ain't you? Buddy, I laid my life on the line for freedom, justice, and the American way while you and your bohemian friends were passing out Bolshevik propaganda and opposing the draft on every street corner. What good is your fucking equality? You can't muster the backbone to stick up for your people while the coyote's scratching at your front door. We stood up against the imperialist war machine in the United States of America and the greedy money men of Wall Street. It was itching to send the children of the proletariat off to die in foreign lands so that they could be filling their coffers. It weren't their sons bleeding on the beaches. No, they draft people like you for their dirty work while they's watching the dollars roll in. You're the pawn, the patsy of takerous men in marble mansions. Well, I see through that shit. Decided not to be a party to it. And yet here you are, guns in hand, shooting Nazis just like me. Difference is you come late to the party. Perhaps your kind had gotten their asses in gear. We'd have won the war. Don't spill that shit on the table, hog, and lead right through. This'll get you drunk, Terry Belly, you upstanding lackey of the establishment, Jake. Listen, pal, I ain't got time for your horse shit. You gotta make the call. Give up and die or step the fuck up. I ain't want to argue with you, Terry Billy. Too tired to fight. You tired? Man, fuck you! I got kids on the way! And I'll be damned if I'm gonna raise them in a world run by these Nazi assholes! So what's it gonna be, you hillbilly, degenerate moonshiner, Bolshevik cowards, goddamn traitors? Lord, Lord, I ain't never seen a man remain coherent after more than one shot over holding special. I like you, Billy. Like your gumption. All right. Let's start this revolution. Hit it. Harris been working on this puppy for over a month now. Hot damn. How'd you tame it? Pop the hood, pour some wines, that about it. He's a quick learner, Paris. Always figures out what's what. So, what's your plan? You're gonna ride it, cowboy. Yes, sir, you're gonna ride on out there, draw off the Nazi fire, while we make our way down to the harbor with all those who survived the purge. Gotcha. All hinges on that boat of yours showing up. It'll be there. Oh, easy now, easy. There you go, just mind the temper. Nazis swarming in like flies on shit. Check, check. All set there, Billy. Now get!